Okay, I'm back on the 69 after a couple days. I'm going to be starting on removing the rest of the quarter panels. The uh, wheelhouses, the outer ones, are both getting changed um, with some Dynacorn weld through ones. I got the trunk floors in and ground down those welds while they're open. From the back side, I can just stand there and grind them all down. So, uh, next thing I'm going to do is show you where I'm going to disconnect the outer wheelhouses, the quarter panels, and I'll show along those steps because you got to melt the lead seam out of the quarter panels. Um, on 6970s, there's only one lead seam in it. Um, I'll show you where that's at and show you how I melt it out, find the spot welds, cut them out, uh, remove the rest of it, and then I'll be on to cleaning the back sides of the uh, inner structure. And after that, it'll be pretty much prepping the new panels to fit the taillight panel, both full quarter panels. Uh, tr align it with the trunk lid and fit the whole back end. So let's take a look at where I'm about to disconnect uh, the rest of the metal that needs to come off. Okay, on the back end, I'm about to hit the uh, outer wheelhouses off. I drilled out some of the spot welds, but first I'll show you trunk floors, trunk brace, that's all in. Um, the inside of the rails, the whole way up, have been cleaned and primed. Um, ground down those welds. Like I said, while I can stand here and easily grind them down before it's all enclosed and you have to sit inside the gas tank grind them down. Um, but both of those in place where they should be, attached it to the inner wheelhouses like it was originally. Um, I got to clean off that old undercoat that you see in the rest of the inner wheelhouse, but I'll do that once I get the outer wheelhouse out of the way. It makes it easier to get to it. And I also attached the uh, inner wheelhouse up at the floor to where it met that new floor. Um, so for the outers, there's a couple spot welds that hold that inner structure onto the top of that. So I have those drilled out already. And the next thing I'm gonna do is take, I take my air hammer at first just to get it off quickly, down the outside edge of that outer wheelhouse. Um, and I'll peel it away also with the air hammer from the rocker. On both sides, I actually drilled out the wheel spot welds where the wheelhouse meets the outer rocker so um, pretty much next step air hammer blast them off um, and then I'll prep the surfaces of where that new outer wheelhouse is gonna go um, but before I put on new outers I'm gonna get the rest of the full quarter off which I got to uncover the spot welds um, which it's attached to, I'll go over the whole perimeter here. It's attached to the rear window panel there. There's a couple spot welds. There's also a couple spot welds up underneath. So it's easy once you get that off to get to those spot welds that you can see right there. And then following up the window, I'll clean up this channel. There's a whole bunch of sealer on it um, from the old window, but there's spot welds the whole way up until it gets to the lead seam, which you can kind of see almost where that paint's peeling off. The lead seam's underneath that. I'll um, grind off the original paint here to expose that lead, and then I'll get out a mini torch, heat it up, scrape it out, which I'll show you how I do that here in a minute. But then following the rest of the way up, that quarter panel attaches up here, goes on this channel, um, so there's a couple spot welds in this channel, also a couple of spots on that top of that panel, and then it connects to the door post. So, what you can see the line there of the seam, old seam sealer. So, that's pretty much the whole way around, other than along the rocker there, which this one was skinned before, and you can see they never attached it to the bottom. Um, and just an interesting thing that I found, you can see the wrinkles in that outer wheelhouse. It was actually probably hit in the back corner slightly. That's why this side had a, a high quarter skin on it. Um, you can see in the inner structure how it's kind of bowed out. So once I get that outer wheelhouse out of the way, I'll hammer and dolly that inner structure panel. The outer wheelhouses all off. Most of the quarter panel is off. Detached it from, I left the pillars yet. I uh, detached it all the way up to that lead seam. Outer wheelhouse is off, quarter panel is off from the rear window area all the way up to where it's lead yet. 
Um, I just left that for last to melt out around the rear window panel. Got all those spot welds drilled out. Um, just some little patches that I'll have to make. You can see um, pinholes of rust there. So I'll have to patch that outer edge. Same thing with this side. It has a couple pinholes in it. So just something small to fix. Um, both sides are all off. Same thing on both sides. I got the rockers, all the old welds off the rockers where the wheelhouses were. I ground down some of the inner wheelhouse welds as, while I was in there. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is removing the lead from where the roof meets the quarter here. And I tried to make it so you can kind of tell. If you look at the metal right in this area, you can see how it loops around. You can see the difference between there and there. I use my wire wheel so it can kind of divot in. You can see how this is smooth, this side over here. That's just the bare steel. And you can see how this is pitted up from my wire wheel ripping into it. Just to show you the lead that's in it. Um, just being softer, you can see where it's at. But it covers a pretty good span about up to here. Um, and that's going the whole way across here. So what I'm going to do is use my mini torch. Um, I'm going to use the mini torch, fire it up, just focus on moving back and forth until that lead heats up enough that it starts to melt. Um, and then I use, um, I actually use that pry bar that's dedicated pretty much for moving the lead. It just works well for me. And we're going to keep going little by little. It'll take a little while to do the whole section there to reveal all the spot welds. But um, that's how you do it. You don't want to really use a regular torch. I think the first quarter panel I ever took apart, I used the regular torch and it put so much heat into it that it warped some of the roof skin. So ever since then, I don't know how many I've done now, but um, using that mini torch, you can regulate the heat that you're putting into it. You're kind of, you don't want to blow it upward either to the roof or else you're sending the heat up into the roof panel so I kind of angle the heat downward so and keep moving don't set don't sit on the spot that you're melting longer than you have to scrape it out of the way and keep moving so I'll do a little bit of a section here on camera just so you get the gist of it and then I'll remove both sides because it'll take a little bit and I'll show you the spot welds that we find underneath all right I'm gonna fire up the torch here do a little bit of this um, just melt it so you can see what it takes to actually melt the lead on it. Right. So, depends on maybe if you're left handed or right handed, but I'm going to work from this way and move down. So it keeps putting heat into my next part that I'm melting. I'm not going to shoot it this way and work this way. You just heating the back section the whole time. So I'm starting here, going that way. Um, let's see, let's see how it goes. But I just keep keep moving, aim away from the roof panel. Um, and I'm working from the top of the lead seam down. You can see it's starting to melt there a little bit. And I don't have an extra hand to scrape, so I'm just gonna melt it a little bit and you can see how it starts moving down. And I try and melt all the lead off of the roof skin because in this case I'm saving the skin. So I'm going to get all that off. This is the easiest way that I found to just remove it other than the little, it leaves little traces behind. You can see the ripples of it, um, but that's easy to grind off with a grinder um, to get it down smooth. But there you can see, this takes a little bit of time keep it moving, um, wear gloves, safety glasses, because sometimes if there's a rust bubble underneath, it'll pop and it'll shoot at you, so you don't want it to come back hit you in the eye or something stupid, because um, it is hot, it, it will hurt when it gets on you, so. You can see it, it pretty much clears itself. I just use the scraper just to get a little bit extra out of there, but
there you go. So you can kind of see where the two panels meet there. You can see it align. Um, and in that section there, there'll be a, all your spot welds that I'll have to drill through. Um, but that's what you're looking for. So like I said, I'm gonna go around, melt the rest of it out, clean it out, find, mark the spot welds, and we'll be back. Now we got all the lead out. Here's what you're looking at once you remove all that lead. Um, there's a little bit of traces of it that you can see I gotta get yet, but I just hit it quick with my wire wheel to clean it up to be able to see these spots, all the spot welds that I need to go through um, to get the roof away from the core panel. So basically, there's three layers here. You got your roof, quarter panel, and then the inner structure. So it's welded through. Um, so I'm gonna take a drill bit, drill through all these spot welds over the size of what they are, drill right through, and then in the end, um, this roof will have a hole in it that you already have there for the roof panel, which I won't put any holes in it whenever I slide it up underneath there. And that'll create a backer to weld that shut. That welds that to that. And then there'll be a hole in the inside that I weld to the quarter panel from the backside from inside the car. So it's back sandwiched all together. So that's what I'm going to be doing next. Just drilling out all those um, and then separating in between with an air hammer. Pull the rest of that quarter panel out. Remove it the rest of the way up there. Um, and then I just have a lot of prepping. I gotta clean up the backs of all these panels. Um, I gotta mess with the door B pillars and just a lot of prepping. And then I'll set the outer wheelhouses in place and then we'll start test fitting the back. But that's where I'm at today. And I'll probably drill those things out, remove that quarter panel and that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, just basically we're prepping for the new quarter panels, removing all of the old pieces, prep all the surfaces that I'm going to weld to. We'll clean and paint all this inner structure um, so that nothing has any issues in the future for um, this car. And attach outer wheelhouses, just weld everything back together. Um, but moving along pretty well, we're back on it today. And don't forget to subscribe, and I should have another video tomorrow. Um, it should Everything should be prepped. I should have everything removed to get that last section done. Um, prep, I should have all that inner structure painted. And then by the weekend, be ready to set panels in place. The quarter panels, taillight panel, um, line everything up with the doors a little bit. But lining everything up, that whole back end before I even weld it takes a couple of days. Um, it's a lot of adjustment to get everything right. So thanks for watching the video and we'll see you in the next one.